Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th, but you know the timing is fluid, right? I am sorry that I have to keep saying that, but we have so many people that are going through, you know, an awakening, so they're, they're new, they're new, and they don't under understand, so that's why I have to keep saying it. So let's see what we have for a message today for the upcoming energy. What do we have for a message today? <laughs> These things, they just don't want to stay together. What do we have for a message today? Lack of progress. Page of coins reversed. Somebody's not making the progress that they need to make. They may have lost their focus, you know, or they're just not interested. Not interested in doing it, doing something. No interest. Five of Swords or Six of Swords. Six of Swords reversed. Cast out restriction. So somebody is struggling. Okay, they're struggling to move on. They are restricted. They're stuck. They are not uh, doing what they need to do to get to a better place. They're in some sort of trouble. It's mental turmoil. Somebody is struggling mentally with following through with a project. Or following through with, you know, a new endeavor. Ah, the moon. That's not the moon. That's the sun. See, this is so confusing. There's some sort of confusion here. The sun reversed. It says, not yet. Not right now. This is depression. It's darkness. It's unhappy. There's some sort of delay in getting the success and getting to a better place. And it's because we have somebody here that is depressed. And they're not doing what they, they're not putting in the effort to, to get to a better place. There's a lack of fulfillment here. But there's fulfillment available if you can master your emotions and drive yourself in that direction. So somebody's lost their drive. They've lost their focus and their ambition. It's like they have an opportunity for success, for money, for stability right in their hand, but they're not, they're not using their skills or they're just not interested in following through. Therefore, you know, they're not going to get the success that they're hoping for because, you know, they're not uh, in a good place mentally. The Empress in the past. Now, the Empress is the giver of life. You may have a mother here or a wife or somebody that is very feminine. This is a very feminine, loving, abundant energy. Maybe focusing on the children, focusing on the home, focusing on everything but doing something. Um, just not interested in going in that direction. So we have an empress here. This, it could be Taurus, could be a Libra, could be anybody else. There is somebody here that is uh, abundant. Maybe, maybe wealthy, um, has life experience behind their back, very nurturing. This is a creator. This person has the skills to create. Maybe this person is very set in their ways, uh, very abundant with who they're, where they're at, and they're just not interested in going down a certain path. We have somebody here that is not really interested in going down in that direction. They are restricting themselves from a new beginning because this, the sun card is a new beginning. Hmm. Two of Wands. Restriction again. The hero font reversed. This one says restriction, and this one, so there's some sort of restrictions here. Somebody doesn't have any faith. They don't have any trust in a commitment because the Hierophant is about commitment. There's no faith. There's no trust. There's some sort of having a hard time 
uh, committing to something. There's no commitment here. We have somebody here that doesn't really want a commitment. It's like there's an opportunity for to commit to something and to have, you know, it, there is, okay? There is an opportunity to have something, but we have this empress here who doesn't really appear to want it. It's like the answer is no, because the sun card reversed is no, I don't want a commitment. I don't want to commit to this. And this could be a no as well. So I feel like we have somebody here that may be saying no. We have an, the Empress is a feminine energy. And this could be a, I feel at this point that it could be a male or a female. This is somebody that knows their value, knows their worth, that has a lot of life experience, that has experienced pain, that has created abundance in their life. So we have somebody here that has created a good life for themselves. And it feels like they have an offer here, but they don't really want it. And it could be because of some mental turmoil that they are going through. Maybe some previous, you know, maybe they're not healed from some sort of pain. They're, they're not healed yet. They're not ready yet. They're not ready for a commitment. So we have somebody here that's not ready for a commitment. So they're restricting themselves. There's some sort of... Um, oh, no, this is restriction, not believing. I don't believe, I don't trust, and no faith. So there is no faith. But here we have the two of wands, which is at a crossroads about a decision. So we have somebody here that is really focusing on the future. They're thinking about the future. They're, they, the, the past is, is still there, though. They haven't completely left the past behind. They haven't made their decision. Um, this is a card of expansion. Um and planning. I feel like we have somebody here that is, you know, wanting a brighter future and they're planning for the future and they are restricting themselves from engaging in new any new enterprises or any new opportunities that are presented to them at this time. And it's because they're really focused on their growth, they're focused on their healing, and they're just not ready yet. So we do have somebody here that's not ready for a commitment. I have to be honest with you, We when we get the hair font reversed, we could have a broken marriage here and relationship problems because of the sun reverse. So we may have somebody here that is in a commitment and there's problems right now. Um, there's trouble. Okay, there, this is like a troubled commitment or a troubled um, partnership because twos are about partnerships. And somebody is really considering, you know, moving to a better place or expanding themselves. But right now, I feel like they're just thinking about it. They haven't gotten to this place where. You know, they can leave their troubles behind. They're troubled right now. We have somebody here that is troubled over something that uh, maybe it's a previous commitment. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is financial setbacks. It is uh, unstable, insecure, a need to take action. We have somebody here that needs to find their discipline. They need to know their value. They need to know their worth. They do know their, I feel like they do know their value or they're learning their value. Um, there is some sort of, the Hierophant in reverse is, is a disgrace of some sort. It is having a hard time. It's having a hard time committing Somebody's having a hard time committing because of something that they haven't healed from yet. They're unstable. They're insecure. They're not stable in many ways. There could be financial insecurity as well. We have some, there could be, we have, could have somebody here that is just not in the place that they need to be. That's what we have. We have somebody here that is not in a place where they are feeling secure and stable enough to commit to something. Um, there's, there's some sort of, um, somebody doesn't believe in themselves as well. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe that they are capable of success. They don't, maybe they don't believe they're capable of a successful partnership. Um, there's disbelief, not capable of a partnership and, and that's why they're restricting themselves. So we may have somebody here that just doesn't know, uh, how beautiful they are because the empress is is very very beautiful very very abundant anyhow um there is some sort of financial setback here because we have somebody that isn't putting in enough effort they don't they aren't uh 
in a good mindset, unfortunately, with that Six of Swords reversed, that is refusing to take a new approach, refusing to try new things, refusing to open up, letting their, their past haunt them. Um, but they are definitely thinking because we have a crossroads here. Somebody is at that point where they are thinking about committing. They are thinking about a partnership. They are thinking about stepping into unknown territory. But right now they are not quite there yet. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. It says abandonment. This card is walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation. We have somebody here that is not in a happy place. The Sun card reversed is underneath it. They are emotionally disappointed. There's, this is a necessary alteration that is needed. Walking away and leaving it behind is needed because the Eight of Cups leads to the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. I do believe that right now we have somebody here that is thinking about leaving an emotionally unfulfilling situation behind. There's no growth there. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's not a, a life-giving energy it may be a draining energy so I think we have somebody that is uh, definitely uh, thinking about leaving but they probably don't they're worried about their money they're worried about um, not they're worried about being alone the, the six of swords is were in reverse is worried and the nine of uh, pentacles in reversed Nine of Pentacles is a very independent energy. I feel like we have somebody here that is afraid of, you know, going it alone. And this could be in regards to a business. And this could be a business owner that isn't having success. And they aren't having success because they're in an unhappy commitment. You know, uh, when, when that happens, when you are in an unhappy commitment where there's emotional disappointment, it will absolutely affect your job. It will affect your position it will affect your energy so i feel in a sun card revert sun is energy okay and it's reversed somebody is in an energy where there is really no emotional happiness here there's no fulfillment and it's probably affecting their cash flow you know because they can't really operate at the optimal level because they're thinking so much about the commitment or the partnership that they're in so any or they're not in and I feel so I feel like there's some sort of insecurities here there's a need to take action there's a need to uh, leave the past behind leave the emotional disappointment behind and think of this as a time of growth even though you may have been through some sort of pain this is the birth of a new life you and this is all about your mental perspective so you have to have you have to look at things in a different manner instead of feeling like you're not capable or that it was your fault or that you did something wrong. I feel like leaving that emotional disappointment behind and allowing yourself to step into new territory will bring you success. But you have to get through with that turmoil at this moment to take that step and step into unknown territory. I feel like we definitely have somebody here that has been ignoring an opportunity or not accepting an opportunity for love. This in whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, we have a non-interest here. We have somebody here that is not interested in the opportunity for love that is being offered to them. And they're not interested because of some sort of emotional disappointment that they are still not healed from okay they're not healed from this emotional and it was some sort of commitment that they were in or that they're still in i do feel like we have somebody that needs to take action right now they're not enjoying their current circumstances and they're really really at that point they're at that roadblock they're at that crossroads where they're thinking about stepping into unknown territory and expanding themselves and going to a better place but i feel like right now is not the, the time it's like no i can't do it right now i can't do it Now we have Four of Cups reversed. So the Four of Cups reversed is opposite. This is seizing a new opportunity. Notice it's right on top of the Eight of Cups. So we have somebody here that may be choosing to leave an emotional disappointing situation because they know their value and they know their worth and they're ready to create that new life and they're taking a new opportunity. I'm taking this opportunity. 
We may have somebody here that is single, that has been single, that has been restricting themselves and has not been interested, and now they are taking an opportunity. That could be the change because twos are about change. They are about partnerships. So I feel like we have a change here. We have somebody here that has been restricting themselves for, from a commitment, or they are in a commitment that is not happy right now, and they are thinking about leaving it for something better. There is obviously an opportunity for love here that has been ignored, it has been missed, or it hasn't been taken. But I think it's pretty clear. I think it's about to become clear. This opportunity is something that is going to be seen. It's like in reverse, it was, I really wasn't interested, but now I am. So we may have somebody here that is now uh, starting to open up. Ah, King of Coins, it says security and power. This is somebody, this is a golden opportunity right here. This is a gift. Somebody has manifested something solid. They, this is something that you can take to the bank. We have a very solid, stable, hardworking, loyal individual here that has stability. Okay, this is somebody that is stable and has. Uh, financial success. So we have somebody here that has built themselves up financially that is probably making an offer to somebody. And if this person makes the offer, I suggest you take it. Take it. Because it's a very valuable offer. Somebody is going to be made an offer from an individual that is very uh, down to earth, very hard working, and very secure. This person um, is set. You know, they aren't, they've worked hard their whole life and they have obtained financial security. So we have somebody here that um, is offering stability and security and stability. And this person, whoever they're offering it to, has ignored it in the past. And now I feel like they're more interested in taking the opportunity. Do not let this opportunity slip away because of your past. We have a very beautiful individual here who uh, does everything with love that is probably waiting. And she has probably said no to everybody along the way, waiting for somebody that, of value. And this is somebody of value. So there is somebody of value that is right around the corner. So uh, you're gonna, somebody's gonna have to make a choice. Are they ready to leave the past behind? Are you ready? Are you ready to leave the past behind? Because this is an opportunity to leave something behind that does no longer serve you, that you're not really interested in, or the person that you're dealing with isn't interested in you. You're going to have to make a choice. And you have to remember that you are valuable, that you are worthy, and that you deserve to be loved. And I, I don't know where that's coming from. I feel like we have somebody that has engaged with somebody that doesn't uh, want to commit with them and maybe and they haven't healed. We're not going to go over this again, but it's time to move on. I mean, the Eight of Cups is moving on and the Six of Swords is moving on. But we, ha and, but we have somebody here that has been restricting themselves from moving on because they were holding out for, you know, somebody that doesn't want a commitment. Or they didn't want to give up their independence. So anyway, I do believe that we have somebody that has manifested a golden opportunity. The opportunity is going to be right in front of their face. They've ignored uh, the opportunities such as this in the past. And I feel like this is a very good option. We have Taurus, we have Libra, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit. Um, we have Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 
Um, we also we have everybody, so it doesn't really matter. But I do believe that somebody has been struggling with their money. They have been struggling, and I think they've been struggling with their job or even doing their job because either the lack of a commitment or the lack or, or they're in a commitment that they don't want to be in and they can't focus. There's a lack of focus here and there's a need to refocus. There's a need to try new things. So anyway, one more card. Ooh, Ace of Coins. This happens to be reversed. It says lost opportunity. There is an opportunity that is about to be lost. This is a golden opportunity that is slipping away right now. This could be an unplanned loss. Somebody could be losing their job. They could be losing their money. They could be losing something of value because they're not putting in effort. It's time to leave behind the emotionally dissatisfying situation. Now we got five cups right here. Stop grieving. And I know I th you can say stop grieving until you... I, I know what grieving is. Okay, I lost a boyfriend and a child on the same day. Somebody need... And, it, you know, I know what it is, so I don't say that lightly. It's, it's time to leave behind the heartache and the pain. There's an opportunity for emotional happiness here right in front of your face. Anyhow, this is a very stable, solid opportunity right here. We have somebody here that is throwing it away. And I feel like they're throwing it away because they're in some sort of commitment that isn't making them happy. This opportunity will be represented either today, tomorrow, or the next day. I suggest you take it. Good luck.